Today, we will be learning how parentheses change the value of an expression. Let's say we want to solve this problem, 2 times 3 plus 5. We would multiply 2 times 3, which is 6. Next, we need to bring down the remaining parts of the problem, the addition symbol and the 5. Now, we solve 6 plus 5, and that equals 6 plus 5 is 11, so the value of this expression is 11. Now, let's look at the same problem, but this time we're going to put parentheses around 3 plus 5. Now, the problem reads 2 times 3 plus 5. When we have parentheses in a problem, we must do the operation inside of the parentheses first. So we must solve 3 plus 5 first, which equals 3 plus 5 is 8. We have solved the expression in the parentheses, so we need to bring down the remaining parts of the original expression, which is the 2 and the multiplication symbol. Now we must solve 2 times 8, and what does that equal? 2 times 8 is 16, so the value of the expression is 16. Now let's try this problem together. In this problem, we must first divide. What is 9 divided by 3? 9 divided by 3 equals 3. And now we must remember to bring down the remaining items, which are the minus symbol and 2. All we must solve now is 3 minus 2, which is 3 minus 2 is 1. So the value of this expression is 1. Let's see what happens if we were to solve this same problem and put parentheses around 3 minus 2. Which part do we need to solve first? We have to solve what is in parentheses first. So what is 3 minus 2? 3 minus 2 is 1. Now we bring down the remaining term 9 and the division symbol. Lastly, we solve 9 divided by 1, which equals 9 divided by 1 is 9. So the value of this expression is 9. Here is another problem. Solve this problem on your own. Don't forget to bring down your remaining terms each time that you solve one part of the problem. What is the value of this expression? The value of this expression is 14. In this problem, you would multiply 8 times 2, which is 16. Bring down the remaining terms and operations, then solve 16 plus 3, which is 19. After bringing down the remaining terms and operations, you are left with 19 minus 5, and that equals 14. Now, let's look at a similar problem. In this problem, what part do we need to solve first? We need to solve what's in parentheses first. What is 2 plus 3? 2 plus 3 is 5. We need to bring down the other terms and operations. Next, we need to solve 8 times 5, which is... 8 times 5 equals 40. Bring down the subtraction symbol and the 5. What is 40 minus 5? 40 minus 5 equals 35. So the value of this expression is 35. Now that we have practiced, you try this problem. To solve this problem, you first have to solve 2 divided by 2, which equals 1. Bring down 5, the multiplication symbol, 4, and the addition symbol. Next, you solve 5 times 4, 
which equals 20. Bring down the addition symbol and the 1. Finally, 20 plus 1 equals 21. So the value of the expression is 21. Here's another one for you to solve. In this problem, 4 plus 2 is inside of the parentheses, so it must be solved first. 4 plus 2 is 6. Don't forget to bring down the remaining items. 5, the multiplication symbol, the division symbol, and 2. Next, solve 5 times 6, which is 30, and bring down the division symbol and 2. Finally, 30 divided by 2 equals 15. The value of this expression is 15. From today's lesson, you learned that when there are parentheses in a problem, you must solve what is inside of the parentheses first.